Hello and welcome to this section of the Differential Equations Tutor. Hopefully, uh, recently you've watched the previous section to this when we talked a little bit about electric circuits and gave a simple little circuit, or at least it looks simple, but it yields a problem that actually has quite a few steps to actually get the answer to, and we talked a whole lot about that. All we're going to do in this section is work a very similar problem with one very important difference that we'll get to in just a second, and you'll see that the process is the same, but one tiny little change in the beginning can really make the problem a little bit more difficult to solve. But the good news is, is that if you know the process, then doing the steps is a very logical thing you do in the, in, in the repeatable order. It's just getting to the answer can be challenging. So we're going to do that here. All right, so let's go on and take a look. We rewrite our circuit. It's actually the exact same circuit. Nothing is changing here. We have a resistor and an inductor, and we have a voltage source connected to this resistor and this inductor. And so the value of the resistor, in this case, R is equal to 4 ohms, and the inductance of this coil is equal to 2 henrys. So just some values of things you can go you'll buy off at the store. And this is V of T, function of time. But in this case, we're going to say that this voltage here, V, is actually going to change with time. And it's going to be a cosine, cosine of 3T. So that's a very, very important uh, change. It's a very, very important change. It's a little uh, innocuous looking change, but it'll actually have a pretty large impact later on. Now, just to kind of draw an, a comparison here, the last circuit we did was almost exactly the same. Values were a little bit different, but for the voltage, we had a constant steady state 12 volts. Just shooting current in one direction constantly uh, through this, you know, this voltage that never really changed. It was like hooking a battery up. This is more like hooking your wall outlet up, although the frequency isn't quite the same. It's the same concept. The voltage is going to be swinging back and forth constantly here. So it's going to yield a, a little, a, quite, an answer that's quite different than the previous one simply because the input source is behaving totally differently. It's kind of throwing uh, you know, the, the, the voltage up and down all the time, which is going to cause the current to go up and down all the time. And remember, we already talked about the fact that this inductance reacts to current changes. The voltage across that inductor is going to depend upon how fast the current is changing with time. So it's going to yield a solution that's going to look a little bit different. But the beauty of circuit analysis, especially when we talk about differential equations, is that although we know the end result is going to look totally different than what we've done before, the process is actually the same. So let's go down this exact same process that we did last time and just see how the math falls out differently rather than stress out about it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, what we're going to have is um, we already know that because of Kirchhoff's voltage law that we talked about in the last section, that the voltage uh, across this resistor at any given time plus the voltage across this inductor at any given time when you add them together has got to be equal to the voltage of the source. So if we want to write that down that would be V of T is going to be V across the resistor plus V across um, the inductor. I'll just call it IND. I did coil in the previous section. It's inductor. Either way, same thing. So the voltage across the resistor plus the other guy is equal to the voltage of the source. So let's do that. What is the voltage across a resistor? V is equal to IR. We learned about that in the last section. That's Ohm's law. V is equal to IR. So the voltage across here is I times R. Okay? Plus, the voltage across this, we already talked about. It was L, D, I, D, 